As a wildlife photographer, I've always been enthusiastic about beaver dams. When I bought a small farm with a narrow creek two years ago, some old beaver sign there got my hopes up. Beavers lived up and downstream, but besides an occasional sighting on trail camera, no real activity was evident. A year passed and I kept watching. I noticed that a dead tree fell sometime in winter, blocking the soft current, and a little later that a beaver had done just a bit of work there. I even caught him crossing the makeshift dam a week later as raccoons fished in the resulting pool. But outside of a few new sticks here and there, the beaver left the check dam for the next nine months. Wood ducks liked the work, and raccoons squabbled over fishing rights. The check dam wasn't much to look at, but it was important new habitat worth a real-time photo blind. I got some beautiful duck film through the spring, and then again as autumn leaves pushed against the dam. But without the beavers there, I mostly let my trail camera record the occasional wild visitor. And suddenly, in late January this year, significant new work began. A beaver started building each night, cutting and dragging limbs to enlarge the dam. And he brought a mate. Welcome news to my hope for an active permanent beaver home. The beavers brought food to the pool, eating bark from limbs, caching succulent branches, and stashing a telltale bone pile of leftover construction material. Meanwhile, the area rapidly developed as a wildlife hangout. With deeper water upstream and flowing water beneath, a host of animals began to use the dam as a natural bridge. Other animals used it for food and drink. It created a focal point for wild area residents, the reason I hoped for beavers to begin with. And if it continues, I'll have great new opportunities to learn more about my wild neighbors. like finding that great blue herons hunt after dark on moonlit nights. Or that an injured coyote doesn't seem to mind the trouble of a hopscotch walkway. In a week, he crossed the dam again and again. So did another hunter, a bobcat, seldom seen in daylight. How about a barred owl that found a mouse in the brushy dam? Or a big crawdad for a taste of seafood? Yes, the beaver dam should provide an endless supply of wildlife discovery. And I'm thankful for this great new development. I'm Mike Blair in the Kansas Outdoors.